Come on out. Last week, the world came together for the largest global climate protest in history. People are so frustrated and pretty pissed off. Well, what can we do? Each one of us can actually have a direct positive impact right now by just growing a little bit of food outside. Which is, you know, there's great news because the United States is actually a little bit ahead of the trend. Home Depot alone saw an increase in their gardening revenue by a billion dollars just this last year, bringing them to 18 billion dollars. The average person actually spends $500 a year on home gardening. But not all of us have a green thumb. Actually, most of us have a black thumb. We are overwatering. We are underwatering. We are just doing it wrong. Gardening is really hard. But what can we do? We're here to change the status quo. Gardening should not be this hard. You shouldn't have to struggle to figure out what am I planting, where am I planting it, how do I even get my plants, do I need fertilizer? Not to mention, most of these these products actually have toxic chemicals, which is not only bad for you, but it's also bad for the environment. What can we do about that? Luckily, we have a solution to make it so that gardening is. Going to be so much easier for everybody, and you're going to see that you've been watering wrong. Introducing Avalo, we've created the first fully assembled self-watering garden that you can just bring anywhere with you. You never have to break it down. We're breaking the rules on how you water your plants. Also, we have a coaching app to keep you active, engaged, and get all your questions answered before you even know that you have them. With the planter, we also will include all of the plants with the coaching app, as well as a 10-year warranty with that planter, which is completely unheard of because we have that much confidence that you are going to crush it as a gardener. So, how does this watering system even work in the first place? Like, what is what is self-watering? So, self-watering. This is sub-irrigation, and what we've done is we've created a proprietary piece of hardware. Um, specifically in the water reservoir and the proprietary materials we're using to make water transfer immensely efficient. Plants are actually able to use their own natural pressures to signal and draw that water up. So you never ever have to worry that your plants are getting what they need because they've got it covered. They know exactly what they want when they want it. So you can go on a vacation and not worry about it. Because with the reservoir, it's so efficient that you can fill it, take a week vacation, come back, and you're completely fine, which is unheard of. So let's go ahead and actually see this、uh, this mythical garden in action. Can we go to、um, demo? The demo, please. <laughs> so here we've got Jeremy. Jeremy has just ordered and received his avalo online. It has come fully assembled and with soil. Which means he doesn't need any tools. And I know for those of you that live in, I don't know, New York or in a dense city where you don't have access to a hardware store that's super easy, or maybe a truck, this is going to make your life that much easier. Also, with this, it has amazing connection points that you can pop in accessories for vertical growing to maximize your space,、um, as well as cold frames. So that way, if you're living in Chicago or New York, you can grow year-round. Also, with it, what you can't see is that the water reservoir is actually built in underneath.、Um, it also is completely insulated to help keep that temperature regulated. Because in this case, size matters, and that's where a lot of planters go wrong: is they don't take into consideration your climate. You know, you may be in Louisiana, but it doesn't mean you, you shouldn't be able to grow something. So Jeremy's getting ahead of the game here. He's already started to plant. Um, he's using our coaching subscription, which does include everything.、Um, he has curated this box based on his climate, and we've worked with him to make sure that he's geared up for success. So Jeremy actually has a question, and he doesn't know what to do about the watering. This is the first time he's ever done this whole like crazy water reservoir thing. So he's going to go ahead and he's going to connect to the app. So actually, if I can get the cameras to connect to the app as well. He is reaching out to our grow team to ask a question in real time, because 
what do you do if you have a question, right? It can take forever. You can get lost in the internet, and sometimes you're going to get misinformation, which nobody wants. Because if you're living in California, you know you may not want to be getting advice from somebody who lives in, let's say, Michigan, when they're not taking into account your your actual climate. So Jeremy's going ahead and he's asking a question right now to our grow team about how to water. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and assume <laughs> that he was able to get a hold of somebody,、um, because we do have somebody working on it right now. Oh, perfect! It looks like somebody was able to get in contact with him.、Oh, okay. All right. So anyway, so our grow team is able to help troubleshoot because they can actually see,、um, you know, where does this person live? When did they, you know, first subscribe? When did they start planting? So that way we can give you accurate information based on your location as well as your season, which is very, very important and typically forgotten when it comes to seeking information from your local retailers or online. Perfect. Okay. In addition to that,、uh, Jeremy's also pretty excited because he's never done this before. So he wants to go ahead and document his journey, his garden journey. So what that means is he's going to go ahead and he's going to take a photo of his garden. And with that photo, not only can he document and understand the progress and have like those. Good feelings where you can see that little seed grow into something big, and he you know documents it. But also, we can see that as well, which means that we can actually troubleshoot and give him advice before he even knows that he needs it or wants it to help give him that much more success.、Okay. Perfect. All right. So wrap it up. Pardon? Final up. thoughts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So final thoughts.、Uh, with Avalo, you can grow anything, anywhere. This is an outdoor planter that you can put in small spaces, whether you are in Chicago or you're in Florida.、Uh, Fifty dollars off right now if you go to avalo.com and type in "disrupt 2019." Thank you. All right, judges, who has a question? Yeah,、um, thanks for being the first one up. <clears throat> Um, so I have a question about who your target market is.、Um, it's obviously a big market, but the Avalo is four hundred dollars, and one of the stats in your deck was it's about a five hundred dollar average spend、mm -hmm. per year on gardening products. So that's almost as much as the Avalo on one product.、Um, so who, how do you think about your early target market, and how does that fit into sort of the mass market for gardening? Yeah, absolutely. So our target market,、um, based on our pilot, actually. So we have right now, currently,、uh, 400 of these that we've been piloting, getting feedback from.、Um, it's women、um, and it's millennials. So it's women between the ages of about 25 and 35 that are really focused. On wellness, well-being, food, organics, etc. But how do they afford that? Does that make sense for their lifestyle? What we've found is that this is something that people actually are prioritizing. So just like someone's paying for a SoulCycle membership, or they're paying for,、um, you know, Pilates or anything else of it, an added expense, this is something that people actually are yearning for. So instead of maybe putting those extra dollars into their, you know. Pre-order food basket or other subscription services. We're actually finding that people are prioritizing and yearning for this because it fulfills multiple needs. So they're getting food, they're getting a learning experience, which people are yearning for. It's something they can share and have community with,、um, and it's something that lasts forever. So, well, that's an exaggeration. A lot. We have a ten-year warranty,、um, and so、um, what that means is that they are paying four hundred dollars upfront. But they're going to keep that for ten years, and they get they get to grow with that. So they get their first place, and it's this little tiny condo, and they move to the next place, and it's a little bit bigger, and they can take it with them, and so it just keeps going, going, going. Great, thanks.、Um, great presentation.、Um, so the question I have is actually around the self-watering、yeah. um, system. I think that's really fascinating, and particularly when you're traveling, I think it's great to to know that you don't have to worry about watering your plants. How prepared? Proprietary is that, and from a competition standpoint, has anyone else developed something similar? Yeah, great question. Actually, Jeremy's the engineer of the group, so he should answer that question. Yeah, so we spent the last three years really honing our, through R and D,、uh, through different material science, trying to find the right combination of materials to allow the water transfer rate necessary to give you the success through all the climate conditions, as well as to be durable and reliable over a long period of time. And so there are self-watering is you can buy self-watering. 
a planter, it exists. You're going to have to really like replace it in three months is kind of the typical life cycle. And so we're saying your first maintenance is somewhere in the five year life time frame, and no one is doing that. So we're, uh, maybe we're just weirdos, but we think it's important. That's great. Cool. I have a um, market segment question. So uh, you, you, you carved out a pretty large uh, marketplace, but um, what percentage of that market are folks that um, are starting out in new um, one bedroom apartments or don't have yards or live in buildings? Yeah, great question. So we're actually really focusing and emphasizing the urban gardener. So we understand that there is an existing market where people have these large properties and they have the luxury of being able to put it anywhere, but we're actually seeing this as more of an urban planter and it's great if somebody else with a large property wants it. Yeah. Yeah, so Jeremy, you want to address the market size exactly? Yeah, so I think that what we're seeing is we look at ourselves as kind of the graduate program. If you're like, you've decorated your apartment and <laughs> like house plants, and that's great, but like you're ready for that next challenge. So after you've you know, been a loyal member of the SIL or Bloomscape or something like that, it's that next way path to that, as well as as you start to get more space, as you start to evolve in your, in your career, in your life, you're, you have more like kind of time for it priority for it, as well as a little bit of space for it. And that tends to be kind of the people we're targeting. So it's kind of that early to mid career is like when they're guess, starting. So to I get the profile. I guess I'm asking, oh, yeah. what is the number? Like what percentage of that um, market size that you laid out is that? Yeah. So it's so the, the, that time, just even from the age demographic, it's about 30 million people right now in the U.S. kind of fit that demographic. Um, and that is only including the people who are actively spending $500 a year to garden not including the people who are yet to be gardeners because they're just not doing it because it's too hard. So we see that like kind of like that's our minimum uh, is that 30 million. And we see that kind of like there's a definitely a, like a, the undefined above that. We are seeing urban though. So urban being larger, larger cities with smaller <clears throat> properties um, is actually being about two thirds of our market. That's really what we're anticipating for, for that. Okay, we have six seconds. I'm gonna <laughs> ask a super question. What's your COGS on the product? Yeah, Jim. Yeah, the COGS is just over, it's like around $180 uh, on, the, on the product itself. There's some uh, you know, additional shipping and things that come into it, which give us that 60% final margin. Yep. But yeah, we're able, and we manufacture in-house um, because it, it's the right fit for us at this point, but that's something that will change uh, our margin structure. Okay. Thank yeah. you. So, yeah. All right, give it up for Avalo.